bear canisters. While peer pressure and general frowning upon from the ultralight world will keep even the most seasoned backpackers from admitting ownership, when the day is done, someone out there is either willingly or forcefully using a bear canister on their trips. In this shootout, we will compare two leading competitors in the bear canister market. For the purposes of this particular series, we will focus on the two primary products offered by Lighter One, the Little Sammy and Big Daddy, and the Bear Vaults BV500 and BV450 series canisters. Before we go any further, I want to relay this very important message. Both of these companies are USA based companies and both companies provide a quality product. While each canister line has its weaknesses, I am confident that you will see that the benefits of use, quality of workmanship, and overall design usage intent will far outweigh any negative that will be discovered through the series of reviews and testing. I also want the consumer to make the decision on what is best for them. All four canisters are designed with a specific purpose, and all four canisters accomplish that purpose effectively. So let's check out some of the specifications. We'll begin with the Lighter One's Little Sammy canister. The Lighter One's Little Sammy is a polycarb canister, 7 inches in diameter by 9 inches in height with an interior capacity of 300 cubic inches, or 3 days worth of food. Per specifications on Lighter One's website, the Little Sammy canister alone weighs 1 pound 5 ounces. The lid, which is made of hard anodized aluminum, is 6.9 inches in diameter and 2 inches in height. The lid doubles as a cook pot, which holds approximately 850 milliliters and weighs just 6 ounces. The internal support, which doubles as a cook pot's handle, and which is in fact required for both the Little Sammy and Big Daddy to function properly, weighs only 1 ounce. The combined weight of the Little Sammy canister, hard anodized lid slash cook pot, and interior support slash pot handle is 1 pound 12 ounces. Upon testing, I found that the Little Sammy stayed true to its claims and weighed in at 1 pound 12.1 ounces on my standard budget kitchen scale. The Lighter One Big Daddy canister is also a polycarb canister, 8.7 inches in diameter at its base, 6.7 inches in diameter at the neck, and 13 inches in total height. It boasts an interior capacity of 650 cubic inches or 7 days worth of food. Per specifications on Lighter One's website, the Big Daddy canister alone weighs 2 pounds 4 ounces. Similar to the Little Sammy, the Big Daddy canister also utilizes the same lid slash cook pot and handle. The combined weight of the Big Daddy canister, hard anodized lid slash cook pot, and interior support slash pot handle is 2 pounds 11 ounces. Upon further testing, I found that the Big Daddy also stayed true to its claims and came in at 2 pounds 11.2 ounces on the same budget kitchen scale. Some of the features that are unique to the Lighter One product line are the lid, which doubles as a cook pot. The idea is that of multiple use. While we will not go into too much detail in this overall preview video, I do plan to do some extensive testing of this little pot's abilities over the next few weeks, so make sure you stay tuned. Before we move on to preview Bear Vault's line of products, I will say that there is one thing above all else that initially drew me to the Lighter One's product line. It was actually the size of the Little Sammy. It's smaller. How could that possibly be a benefit, you ask? Well, as much as I would like to think that I am just like Russell Bryce leading expeditions to Mount Everest, the reality is I'm just a normal guy. I have a normal job, I have a normal family, and normal life responsibilities. And many of those responsibilities afford me limited time to go out into the backcountry. So for the weekend warrior or the person who maxes out on a two-nighter from time to time, the Little Sammy is perfect. It's smaller, weighs less, and it fits in my pack better. It not only keeps bears out, but it also keeps varmints out of my food. Just from the pictures online, I was pretty sure that the Little Sammy was going to be something special. But now that I have it in my presence, I am officially convinced that the Little Sammy should be an industry standard size of bear canister. Because when the day is done, 
I really believe that there are more weekend warriors out there than there are those that are forging the Sierras for 21 days at a time on the JMT. Now let's review some of the specifications of the Bear Vault BV500 and BV450. The BV450 is the smaller of the two canisters in the Bear Vault line of products. The 450, similar to Lighter One's product, is also a see-through polycarb canister, 8.3 inches tall by 8.7 inches wide, with an interior capacity of 440 cubic inches, or approximately four days worth of food. Per specifications found on Bear Vault's website, the BV450 weighs only 2 pounds 1 ounce. Upon testing, I found that the Bear Vault stayed true to its claims and weighed in at 2 pounds 1.5 ounce on our trusty budget kitchen scale. The BV500, also a see-through polycarb canister, is 12.7 inches tall by 8.7 inches wide with an interior capacity of 700 cubic inches or approximately 7 days worth of food. Again, per specifications on Bear Vault's website, the BV500 weighs in at 2 pounds, 9 ounces. Upon further testing, the BV500 also stayed true to its claims and actually weighed in less than advertised at 2 pounds, 8.5 ounces. One of the greatest benefits that the Bear Vault has over most of the competition is its overall ease of use. There's only one moving part, the lid, and even with some users claiming that the Bear Vault line of canisters is tough to open with cold fingers, a quick YouTube search can yield a simple fix to that scenario. When comparing the benefits between the lighter one and the bare vault, we see that both canisters are built with a special blend of shatter resistant see-through polycarbonate, which really is a big plus. And both large canisters have guides that allow them to be stowed outside a backpack using simple webbing. Some of the areas that the lighter one has a one-up on the bare vault is its usefulness of the lid as a cook pot. The little Sammy canister also includes guides to stow outside your pack with webbing, where the BV450 only has nubs to guide webbing. Areas where the bare vault has a one up on the lighter ones products are minimization of parts thus providing a simpler usage design and the area of weight and overall space savings when comparing the larger canisters. The Bear Vault BV500 is in fact smaller and lighter than the lighter ones larger canister. There will be further testing on this aspect, but one thing that so many people love about the Bear Vault product is its dual usage as a chair. The wide and flat top of the Bear Vault product has upheld the rear ends of many many backpackers over the years. But again, more testing to follow on this very issue in the future, so make sure you stay tuned. At the time of this video, the lighter one's Little Sammy runs $94.95 if purchased separately. The Big Daddy, if purchased separately, costs $99.95. However, lighter one also offers a combo deal where you can purchase a package that includes one Little Sammy canister, one Big Daddy canister, one canister lid, one pan lid, and one handle for $139.95, which is actually a pretty sweet deal and covers you for all potential backpacking scenarios. If you wanted to purchase the canister lid, pan lid, and handle separately to complete the set so that both canisters have all the parts they need, that will run you $44. $4.95. For those that are interested in purchasing Lighter One products, you can see the link in the video description below. Bear Vault must be purchased through a dealer, but the good news is, is that they are ample and well spread out throughout the United States. At the time of this video, the BV500 runs approximately $79.95, and the smaller BV450 can usually be found for right around $69.95. Make sure you stay tuned as there will be many more videos to come on these two products as we go through our bear canister shootout.